I mean, it, the laundry lists of U.S. Indian divergences are very compelling, um, but so are the laundry lists of U.S. India convergences. So I'll just name a couple. Over the last, frankly, five, six, seven, eight years, including quite recently, including under the Obama administration, uh, our countries have come much closer together, I think, in thinking about Afghanistan. The Indians are disappointed that we're leaving, uh, so I don't think our record here is particularly defensible, but certainly I think we see things and dangers and opportunities in Afghanistan in very similar terms. In Pakistan, we're much, much closer than we were even a couple years ago. Um, and this is partly to do with just the degeneration of U.S.-Pakistan relations. Um, uh, we in Washington, I think, are much more hard-headed about Pakistan in a way that has been true in India for a longer time. On terrorism, uh, I mean, the, the listing of Hafez Saeed, uh, you, can, you can make a long list going back to Mumbai and beyond. Uh, we're much closer than we were even a couple years together. Uh, on China, um, uh, what India is doing in terms of its own buildup on the border, in terms of its own acquisition of, of military capabilities, in terms of the East Asia dialogue that our governments convene, uh, in terms of more broadly the, uh, well, all sorts of things. Um, we are, we, I think we see much more eye to eye on China. India exercises more with the U.S. military than any other military in the world. Despite the MMRCA issue, India buys uh, almost as many weapons from the United States as it does from any other country in the world, which is saying something since it's the world's largest military uh, importer, uh, the Indian Ocean, even the Arab Spring. I mean, India was, was I think, wrong in, in voting against the Libya intervention, um, but it did actually help organize Egypt's last round of elections and is playing a more progressive role there. In South Asia, um, I mean, I think the list, uh, if you go around India's neighborhood, we're much more in sync on many of the countries in South Asia than we might have been a decade ago. 